Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have nothing for or against uh, the billionaire from Russia, Roman Abramovich. And uh, he lived uh, mostly in London because that's what the oligarch, the oligarchs from Russia usually do. Uh, they uh, take their little money and then they live somewhere else uh, because uh, <clears throat> the justice system in Russia is after them or not. A lot of uh, oligarchs from Russia right after Yeltsin uh, passed away and let's not maybe not passed away but gave the torch to Putin uh, little by little decided to leave Russia and live somewhere else because the dictator Putin uh, <clears throat> was a dictator and they could not uh, make uh, their money with their presence. Basically they were wanted some of them. Now uh, I made an, um, a video, I can remember maybe about six, seven months ago, uh, telling you about what percentage of these uh, oligarchs from Russia are of a certain kind of, um, uh, how should I put it, uh, ethnicity. And, and uh, a big, big chunk overrepresented and we like, uh, you know, uh, equity well overrepresented was the, the Jewish uh, ethnicity or how you want to call the Jews, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. Anyway, uh, Roman Abramovich is Jewish or he's a Jew, however you want to look at it, which is nothing wrong with that, obviously. It's just that um, I think that now he's, um, he's a little bit in trouble or with the Western uh, weasels who decide to, decided to punish him for... Uh, being, they say, having connections, not friends, but having connections with Putin. And since Putin uh, became a bad dude, all of a sudden, he was not a bad dude before uh, uh, February 20, uh, 25, right, so 24, he was not a bad dude. Until then, Putin was a great man, according with his guys, so nobody had sac uh, was sanctioned, including Abramovich. As the guy invaded, all of a sudden, all the connections with Russia that Abramovich might have had turned like that's a bad thing. So he was sanctioned Abramovich and he uh, you know, lost about uh, this much from his uh, wealth, uh, which is his wealth. Nobody should attack it like that, I think. But now they're uh, trying to um, tell us a few, a few, I think they're doing, uh, they're starting building a cover, cover um, activity or cover, you know, um, cover operation, let's put it this way, um, for Mr. Abramovich. This article comes from Business Insider, and this is the title, How Russian Billionaire, Russian Billionaire, Roman Abramovich fell from grace after Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Imagine, this guy was fantastic today, Without doing anything, tomorrow is a bad dude. Basically, this is what happened with this guy. As I said, I'm not here to defend himself or, uh, you know, anything, blame him. I'm just trying to ask some questions. How is it possible? Let's say we are here and all of a sudden my father or whomever uh, uh, commits a crime and all of a sudden I become a, uh, a bad dude overnight without doing anything. It's just because I associated myself somewhere with that guy nothing else. I don't have uh, dealings with that guy. I don't have anything to do. I'm sanctioned. Why? Because I might have, I don't know, a few clothes in a parental uh, house or something. That's strange, isn't it? Before Russia's invasion of Ukraine earlier this year, businessman Roman Abramovich had it all. Yes, it, he did. Aside, aside from owning a vast number of assets, he also enjoyed close ties to Putin, officials say. Okay, like what? They were banging ladies of the night every evening with some uh, Cuban cigars and drinking some vodka. Is that how it was? And if so, is that a crime? Did he participate in committing a crime? No. So what the thing is? Was it with Putin? Okay, I think we should attack Odessa. What do you think, Vladimir? Well, Roman, I think we should do that. Is that what, what happened? Imagine, put yourself in his shoes. And as I said, I don't defend this guy. I don't have anything for or against this guy. Put yourself in this, in, in this guy's shoes. Overnight, because someone else that you know committed a crime, 
according to the other guys, you are somehow guilty. Now, I don't know what that is, but that's not justice, the way we know it as a Roman law. We might know it as a other kind of law, but not Roman law. But a series of Western sanctions left the oligarchs scrambling to sell his lavish assets. Don't cry for me, Argentina, because this guy is not getting poor, okay? At all. At all. But this is how they try to make it sound like, oh, poor guy is hit by that. He shouldn't. I think he shouldn't. I, unless he did something illegal. What, associating yourself by knowing that person makes you a criminal? I don't think so. I don't think so. Otherwise, uh, a lot of us would be uh, behind certain kind of uh, metal bars. If you know what I mean. The billionaire once had a vast luxury empire that included su super yacht, private jets, flashy cars, extravagant real estates, and most notably, the London soccer team, Chelsea Football Club. So he, look how it, start, it started this paragraph. Once had a vast luxury empire. He still has it, I guarantee you. I guarantee you he's still a billionaire, whatever he is, and he has no problem for the rest of his life, including his family for the 50th generation. Which is good, unless he committed crimes. Abramovich has Russian, Israeli, and Portuguese citizenship. Now I have to... Uh, say I don't know how he's got the Portuguese citizenship but I'm assuming not based on uh, I don't know actually I don't know is he married with a Portuguese um, his wife is Portuguese his I don't know who whomever I don't know how he's got that one but I know why he's got the Israeli and now why he's got the Russian one uh, but because of the soccer club and his real estate the UK was largely seen as his adopted home. No, he picked that. Uh, like many other oligarchs that stole from Russia and the Russian government was looking for them. You remember, there were a few of them. Where did they go? To London. Some of them died in London, not by the Russian's hand, because you know they are not uh, professionals. They try to poison people in London and they do a halfway job. Those guys should be, you know what I mean? If true. Anyway, so um, it seems very strange that <clears throat> he wants to, you know, let's say I'm living in a town and the town catches me with, a, I don't know, or say, okay, Emil, you are under investigation, you did some hanky-panky here. And I run away to the next town where I get protection. Wouldn't that uh, look, sound, be suspicious that maybe those guys are my sponsors, actually, <laughs> or my defenders, or they are the pinnacle or defenders of uh, liberty, freedom, and justice for all. Which one is it? I think the first one. So the, the oligarchs used to be the governor of a remote, remote Arctic province called Chukotka. Also enjoyed close ties to Ru Ru Russian President Vladimir Putin, Western official said. Remember, they used here a pa past tense. Past tense is something that happened and uh, started in the past and ended there. It was an event that happened there. It's not happening, all right? Otherwise, it would be a different tense that they use here, okay? So, who used to be close, done, is not anymore, right? Governor of a province enjoyed, again, past tense, uh, ties with Russia. He's not, oh, he's been, he's been doing that. He is uh, enjoying, no, no, but he was sanctioned. Now, is Business Insider trying to cover for this guy? I think so, uh, for uh, certain reasons that I can't share with you, but uh, people who are uh, um, aware with what's going on, they would probably figure, they, f f figure it out. The oligarchs, who used to be the governor. Okay, so in March, Abramovich was sanctioned by the European Union and the UK after ministers accused him of having ties to Putin and by extension, quote-unquote, blood on his hand. Okay, like what? Did they provide any evidence or just because he knew him? I think just because they knew one another sometime before, past tense, remember, uh, he's, he got blood on his hand. Well, uh, this is not the Old Testament. This is not the Torah. This is not judging Jesus because he claims he's this or that and blood is going to be on our hand or anything. It's not that. I think London and the European uh, whatever union is still operating under a certain kind of law. Well, it seems like that law is given away and we get a rabbinic law. Well, 
we fuck ourselves, that's for sure. Abramovich had all of his assets frozen and was banned from traveling to Berlin, the Guardian report, uh, to Britain, I'm sorry, the Guardian reported. So his friends turned their back on him temporarily, temporarily. He's going to be back in business, I guarantee you that. A few days after the start of the war, Abramovich said he was selling Chelsea football, football club, ending 19 years of ownership. Abramovich announced he was selling the Premier League soccer team on March 2nd. Uh, well, he, it was not <clears throat> taken from him uh, as uh, Russia's assets were taken from them temporarily, I would guess, frozen assets, but he made uh, some profit from selling it, from, from selling it. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, if he committed a crime, and you can find that as being so, so if, if it was an investigation, if it was determined by court that uh, Abramovich committed a crime, by all means, uh, do what's necessary and what's required by law. But I think this was just a political uh, hunt of a guy that you couldn't prove anything. Uh, and I don't see any, any, any problems with this guy being friends, not even friends. Remember, it was past tense. Uh, used to be friends with this guy. Just because this guy overnight, so one action of one guy overnight destroys everything. Before that, everything was okay. Abramovich put in a okay relationship. The guy did this, all of a sudden turned uh, Abramovich in a bad dude, into a bad dude. How is that working? I mean, just because someone else does something over there and you're okay, all the connections with those guys are okay, all of a sudden I'm turned a, a bad dude because I knew that guy. Anyway, this is not justice. And he's going to be rehabilitated, I guarantee you that, for obvious reasons. And he's not going to lose his fortune, he's not going to be uh, working you know, in a factory. <laughs> don't worry about that. But. Uh, I don't think it's something uh, honest that happens and fair with this guy at this point. And it's not only that I made this video for him, but that happened to many other individuals just by association. Not even dealings, not even let's say, oh, Putin and uh, Abramovich had some hanky-panky and you found out what? On the 25th of February, in 24th you didn't know about it, in 25th you did. Again, uh, that means you knew when you, you participated in a crime, you kept your mouth, mouth shut. You know, it's like those guys who come and uh, report a crime after, I don't know, two, three years. And uh, they were aware of the crime for three years, but they didn't report it because they didn't have a problem with the criminal. And all of a sudden, the relationship soured between the criminal and the reporting source. And the reporting source, hey, uh, I want to report uh, uh, Gigi because Gigi has been doing this. Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. And when the fuck he didn't report it so far? Uh, 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 yeah, I know that for a fact. Many, many people do like this. When they, the relationship sours, then you go and tell. You, that makes you a um, participant. I mean, you... Uh, hidden a crime for occurring for three years. It occurred, you knew about it, you didn't report it, or it kept occurring, and now that uh, you didn't have the understanding going as it used to, you become upset and you report it. Pfft, idiots. Anyway, the same here. All of a sudden, Abramovich becomes a bad dude after one day did, someone did something, and everybody knew, European Union knew. Nothing changed between Putin and Abramovich, or uh, Russia and Abramovich. And on uh, uh, the night of 23 to 24 or 24 to 25 of February 2022, nothing. It's just a guy did something else. And all of a sudden, everything else, oh, Emily's sanctioned. Why? That's not how justice works, my friend. No, not at all. Someone labels you of being some, somebody because you knew someone and they attack you like this. No. So, yeah, I think Abramovich is the victim here. And uh, I have no tears for him because he's going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, well, after all, he's got a Israeli uh, citizenship. So <laughs> he's going to be okay, I tell you that. Why? Because uh, he's going to be, uh, you know, saved by uh, justice and truth. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.